Hey guys, it's Kelly, and today we're doing reading your comments. Um, I just want to say congratulations to Jesse because he hit 200k in Storyfire. Even though, I mean, it's, you know, it's what it is. You know, it's it's cool, but it's like, it's not that impressive. And the Storyfire, um, page, there's a video he made, um, for our congratulations to Jesse, like, through video, like, slap each other, so, like, be like, you know, I slap, and then it shows, like, someone else going, like, that, as if I slapped them, but it's just through video, and then we're like, they had, like, Michael, aka K K on camera, Jesse, obviously, um, um, who else? Brian, Swift, Big Brother, Ashley, his parents, both of Jesse's parents. Um, so it was pretty cool. I recommend checking it out. He posted part of it on his Instagram. The video itself is four minutes, but he posted like two minutes of it on his Twitter. So go check it out. Anyway, he's got a lot of comments. So let's just get through them. Jojo Wallace. Which I miss you commenting, Jojo. LOL, you don't want to be the devil inside again that's funny now some of these are old from like a month ago because i didn't realize how many comments i did from the last reading comments like i didn't realize there was that many again i don't know um oh and by the way there was no video yesterday because the night before i did not sleep at all for some reason like i was just laying in bed with my eyes closed i could not fall asleep i ended up sleeping just yesterday morning from like quarter to nine or quarter to one for like three hours but i mean i wasn't too bad just you know i wanted to chill yesterday so that's the reason. I don't know. It's just I've been feeling it's like so exactly what it is. And that banging. My mom's in another room hanging stuff up, so don't mind the banging. Anyway, come on, my pen. Um, but yeah, these comments are old, so don't show always. Yeah, you can say whatever you. I I won't judge you for it. It's fine. Whatever opinions and opinion. Um, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, watch the last reading comments. I know it was probably like two a couple months ago, but like probably two months ago since I filmed. But um. Yeah, anyways, George and Wallace. Yeah, I apologize for putting you down if I did, and what you said at the end was great. Thank you. Like I said, since he comes on to remember, like what I said, but thank you. Secret Druggy Revolution, hashtag AGP. Maybe instead of Psycho Kid, Psycho Girlfriend, I watch Story Fire Party. That's what I think. Okay. George and Wallace. Hopefully, Devil Inside doesn't get dried up. Exactly, that's why I don't want that again, like with the whole marriage stuff, you know. Because, you know, it's good the first time and, you know, when, when things get dried up, you know, they won't be appreciated. Like, the first devil side won't be as appreciated. Like, it's hard to explain, but you guys do understand. Like, you know, because it so drives the people not going to like, you know, the original as much anymore. Because, like, this gets dried up already, I'm sick of it. But, you know, and yeah. But anyways, okay, why my iPad keep flipping? Come on. Um, George Wallace, YouTube must be hard to do, so you know, props to you. I wish the best with this career. Hope it goes well. Thank you. But I think the most strategic option would be for you to do YouTube part time until you make enough money for a living. Grow the bones to drop the job. That's some, that's what most YouTubers do, as a matter of fact. Good, all cap. Yeah, I can see that, but man, I not necessarily look there's a lot of younger kids out there, like Piper or um, Danielle Cohen. You know, look at them, they're just teenagers. Um, there's Ruby Rube, you know, they're good for themselves, you know. There's song oh, like, um, what's it, Bro vs. Sis, that gaming channel and stuff. So, I get that, but I don't know. Guys, subscribe, you know, help me grow. Uh, Gravity Falls fan, a thousand videos, Jesus, man. Mm-hmm. Um, Simon G. Hold on one sec. This was a while ago. I get it. But remember when you were mad at Jesse for how he treated Ashley even though it was a series? And the actor's not real. You were like personally mad at him about it. But the thing is, it was a show. I get it. But Simon, you have to remember. Like when you watch TV shows, I'm sure you come, sometimes get mad at characters for doing something in a show. And that's obviously not real. So what's the big deal if I get mad for something Jesse does in a series? Just like you can, you get like that with a TV show. I don't know how you don't understand that. Um... Anyway. Like, are you gonna be mad at Darth Vader's actor for how he treated his son Luke? Because that's basically what you're saying there. No, it's not. Are you gonna get mad at, I don't know, the actors of zombies for how they treat the humans in The Walking Dead? Or are you gonna get mad at Biff from Back to the Future actors for how they treated the girl in the movie? Never seen Back to the Future. You can't pretend like the fake video is real life. You just can't get actually mad about him. Just saying. If you're mad about Jesse did then get mad at the character. <laughs> okay, you're not understanding it. Okay. 
I understand it's a series, but like I said, with TV or movies, you could get mad in the TV or movies for what someone did in the movie. Like, I watch General Hospital as a soap opera. Even the cop shows I watch are like, you know, like Law and Order, the Chicago show, the Chicago Mad PD and Fire, or like Blue Bloods, you know? You can get, sometimes I've gotten mad in those shows for something someone did. I was not like I get mad at the actor, I get mad at the character. But it's the same thing with Jesse. Like, I get mad sometimes with Jesse as invaders, even though it may be scripted, you can still get upset with it. Like, I don't know. Simon G, oh, okay, I get what you mean. I got, got you. You're saying it wasn't a good choice in the video to treat Ashley like that, and it wasn't my, it didn't get set a good example. All right, can I just, exactly, like, Simon G, the devil's controlling her. You can see the necklace in the video. Just like how the devil controlled the dad to be psycho, I think, at all. Mm-hmm. George Wallace, this is funny. <laughs> Simon G, social bound bounty and grease or whatever his name is of uh, bits you can tell Gar Gary Lean was named something else before he changed his name okay Gary Lean's a bot and so is this other person oh it's from Jim Greenson he judged his name when I called him out earlier and somehow deleted my comment um Gravity Falls fan yeah Gary Lean probably is not bot he's probably gonna delete these comments again and change his name again the LMFAO you loved it, but didn't get why he married a UPOS. Um, and guys, I'm not saying anything because who cares? It's bot. This is, like I said, these are comments from like a month ago. So, Gary just changed. Oh, it's from Simon G. Gary Link changed his name to Catherine Bar. Catherine. He just changed his name again to Roby. It's from Simon G. Simon G. This is a bot, 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 stupid bot. Gravity Falls fan. Catherine changed his name. It's a bot. Watch out. He's getting psycho. Simon G. loved. It is Logan. He has multiple accounts. He's bad. Time G. He changed his name again. So damn, change his name every time I call him out. One simp. And he changed his name to Beefully. Beverly. What is happening to it's just creepy? How many times are you gonna change your name until you get tired? You're caught accepting. Why is everyone so obsessed with the bot? Like, who cares? You know, you don't want you, you know, giving a power when you acknowledge it. And just ignore it. God, father. Damn, we all know you're a bot, stupid. We know. Every time you say his name, then bot changes it. Watch. But it's going to be Christina next one. Wow, congratulations. You know it's a bot. Like, who cares? Simon G. Beverly, last name I checked. This was for me. Simon G. Beverly Bot. Next. Okay, Simon G. Why is YouTube banning our mean comments to the scam or keeps changing? So, I don't know anything about that. About YouTube banning comments, so. It makes no sense he's a bot. It's a series. Watch his name's gonna be Samantha. Just watch edit. Doris is the bot now, huh? Denise Slapper I was off usually it would be Denise. Wonder what's gonna be next time. It's Lynn. Now it's Lynn. And I'm not gonna say the word this time, everyone else. Don't do it too right in. My middle name is Lynn. But it's spelled L L Y N N. Not L I N N. It's Pru now. Who's the bot? It's great. Colton. Now it's I don't know how to say your name, Jan. I'm not even gonna try and say that. I'm just gonna say Jane. Okay, this is my Joby. He's changed his name like 13 times again. Keep doing it. He's worked up to this comment section now. I'm on to him. Change it again. Okay, I'm not gonna say the name. I wonder if he changed his profile picture. It's Blue Triangle. Just gonna keep changing his name. Guys, who cares? It's a bot. Who cares? Why do you have to keep commenting about it? Like, is your comments. What's, what's the comments doing? You know, it's not doing anything, so. Georgia Wallace, Doris is no life bond. Okay, Colin. Hope you're doing well. Miss our conversations over you. Um, yeah. I'm doing well, thanks. Uh, so I'm, this is crazy. The love of the bond literally changed the username for a picture as the suspect Jesus. Guys, with this. Bullshit. So I'm, this bot is everywhere on YouTube and he's no good. Off this topic, though, actually he's being controlled by the devil, so like. I was like down Jeff Rue back at the end of my virtuous game. Speaking of that, these last recent videos of Jesse, have you seen them? People saying how Jeffrey and Nick were being controlled by the devil because how he was, when they were doing stuff to Swift, how they were laughing and stuff. So possibly, devil decides Isaac and end up with Isaac going back to his world. Then season two was when Jesse had a crisis. Josh came in competition and the devil came and we saw the whole video. Devil inside season three was everything from the end of my virtual escape to the devil side video. Now this is season four. Season four started with this virtual waking. Wait, was season two? 
Yeah, season one was the first camera competition, right? And then maybe like from after my virtual escape to whenever it was season two and season three was like the second camera competition. I don't know. It's hard to keep track. But anyways, it's all it's all in the same Devil Inside playlist. So, um, but okay. Matthew eight eight seven eight eight. Can you please get a screen recorder for your iPad? I looked into those. Like those. Like you can't. My iPad's old. Like my iPad's like an iPad three. So I don't know if you guys can read that. But yeah. So a lot of the apps don't work in my iPad because you have to have like a a high update, and my iPad isn't updated anymore because you know it is so old. So you just stop having updates for it. So and I looked into it on my phone, but I just I don't know. Simon G, you know what if Jesse cares about the money, what's stopping him? Money's important. If you can't make a good story narrative videos without them getting money or recognition, what's the point? Sorry if I was a grad down, it just needs improved. Just give it time. YouTube is an oh god, we don't have to worship and it's not my fault. It's time to admit that. Um But yeah, he has he has having a big marketing push on there and like some YouTube, other YouTubers joining and one of them seems like it's Keemstar, but he says like the seven biggest creators. Now, I like Keemstar, but I don't think Keemstar is that big of a creator. Uh, I don't know how many subscribers he have. I'm sure he's pretty big. I'm not saying he's not big, but he's not like probably one of the seven biggest, let's be honest here. Um, yeah, let's look him up on, very quick on the YouTubes. To see how much Keemstar subscribers. Um, but yeah. I don't think Storyfire is, you know, terrible. I just think it would be better just for storytelling person. Oh, he, he just has 5.5 million subscribers. So, he's like, what, about a million more subscribers than Jesse has? So, he's not, like, that huge. You know, Jesse, like, you know, remember Jesse was saying this? He was, like, the seven most subscribed YouTubers or whatever. You know, the biggest YouTubers. Come on. He's a big YouTuber, but, like, not the biggest. I honestly thought he would have more than 5 million, though. But anyways. I mean, I never, I've. See, I've watched a few of Keem's videos before, not recently, but it's not bad. Just that's something I'm into. Colin, hard question mark, hi there. Hey. Extremeinator97. Hopefully I said that name right. Awesome video. Appreciate it. Jager, wow. M Minst just gave a link. Maybe probably for his channel, so. And this link was posted on my Minecraft survival video that I did number one, it's called. So you just go into my game playlist if you want to check out his channel. Um, Simon G, dang, that's cool. Simon G, love Minecraft. That map looks awesome. Thank you. Great video. Judge of Wallace, great video. What DS is that? Right, it's a 3DS. Jane D, put your adorable. Thank you. Extremeinator97, put cool. Thank you. Proto3, amazing video. Thank you. Anyways, um, Secret Drug Evaluation, hashtag AGP, keep up the good work, thank you. Um, it's Tiger Tunes, but I think YouTube is better than Storyfire in my opinion, but who knows, I might be wrong in the future. Well, no, your opinion's not wrong. You know, you might change your opinion in the future. Remember guys, opinions are never wrong. I think Jesse did a good job of making a storytelling app for writers. Me too. Also, I think it's not looking good for video creators because they have to go through the application and then the video creators get upset and they're picked and let the big creators French Jesse. Which I feel like that's true because I know maybe not every single person has video unlocked, but probably like 95% of people who upload videos on Storyfile are people Jesse knows. Even if the people don't personally know Jesse, I'm so it's fans that Jesse knows or he's you know talked to before somehow. Maybe they're not like friends with Jesse. But I'm sure, like, they're fans, and I'm sure Jesse knows them, you know. But anyways. Um, oh, French Jesse. That's why I choose YouTube for right now until something good happens. Jesse needs to stop bringing in more people and keep working on a platform. That's all he needs to do, bro. All he can do is believe with Jesse. Exactly. TCG. Hey, I'll put, so you have social media? Yes, everything's in my description, all my social medias. I really put sweet, sweet, sweet. sweet. Yeah, sweetgirls.com. Um, the link doesn't work, so don't try it. Um, Secret Jackie Revolution. I hated it. I did not like how Jesse treated Jeff Saxton. Could have died with these chemicals and the fake snow. Jeff Rich shouldn't have choked around with the bleach. Mm-hmm, I agree. 
Um, secret drug, this is the last comment, guys. Secret drug revolution, hashtag HP, plus Jeff Saxon could have gotten hurt doing all this. Mm -hmm. I agree. You know? Like, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Those are any comments. Um, but yeah. I know I've done one in a while, and, um, yeah, like, make the videos for you guys. So please subscribe, guys. Follow me on my socials. Follow Colin and subscribe to Josh. Subscribe to Richard Magic HP. Subscribe to Trout Self. And, um, I love you guys so much. Hopefully, you can get out later today. I'm gonna message Colin to edit this, but I love you so much. You know, you guys are amazing. And I will see you guys in. Oh, subscribe, guys. Let's continue to grow. I love you so much, my randomers, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Please comment, too, what you think.